Hello and welcome everyone to the seventh episode in my moon landing extravaganza. And it's at the very end in a sense, and I feel like I just got to know you. Um, no, I, after I land, I'm thinking about doing a few other things, and I will mention that after I land. Um, so as you can see, this isn't the same vehicle that we used before. I went and recorded the episode and I landed and I did not turn on my microphone for all that so I decided I am going to redo it again. Um, this is the exact same vehicle that I launched before and it, there was really no difference between the other vehicle at all. Um, I just felt that I needed to redo it and show you guys. and. It's the same exact craft. There's really no difference between them. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, what I'm going to do is once I land, I'm going to delete this one that we are landing with. And we are going to switch back to our original crew. Um, if you look, our fuel hasn't really changed much. And I don't really intend on using any of the fuel um, in our original lander for you know like switching the you know transferring the fuel over or anything like that um i will talk more on the surface and i want to you know gauge you guys and see what you want to do after i land on the moon now uh, as you can see i i adjusted my orbit and everything and we're lined up uh, the flight time is a little bit longer because i had to adjust it to go around the moon and everything else because it was everything was basically on the dark side and I am not going to land on the dark side because yeah that's I, the dark I'm, I'm scared of the dark guys I'm sorry so um <laughs> um let's kind of speed it up here <laughs> and uh we'll get to retrograde so we're gonna do a burn retrograde once we get to about right right about uh Let's see, right here seems good. Now I'm gonna land at Moon Base Alpha, or at least try to get as close as I can, which I'm pretty good at getting to about 10 kilometers away from. So let's do our burn, and I am afraid to hit space bar. You can make fun of me later, but um, yeah, here we go. So as you can see, as our burn has started, this is going to keep going down and down and then eventually we're on a collision course with the moon and something like this to land like this i wouldn't suggest it i i don't really like doing a landing that way but when you're new um just getting close enough getting close to the moon and even crashing on the moon is like a milestone because you're like yes i finally did something um so I'm going to adjust my orbit a little bit because I want to get this line somewhere in here. I want to get really close. So I adjusted a little bit and that seems good to me. And now I'm going to burn underneath here. And what that does is it, it pushes your retrograde more towards the top of your nav ball. And by pushing, you're, you are decreasing your orbit like I was saying before and I think I've said it I think I said it before in a later episode but you want to imagine this line runs directly through your nav ball at this specific point of where we're at so as you can see I'm just decreasing it and I'm trying to get it down to as low as I can somewhere in here and that would be amazing you know like I, I try to la do pinpoint landings and sometimes they work sometimes I'm a little bit off um, you, it really you just really got to gauge it in a sense to figure out where it is that you're trying to get to and what it is you're trying to do um, you know rescue missions and stuff like that would be based off of something like this where you want to get really close to something or at least close enough to where you know you're not gonna have to travel insane distances just to get to that so I'm gonna straighten out my orbit now a little bit and try to that's 
you know, that's pretty good to me. I mean, I'm not close, but I'm trying to do what I did with the Orbiter 1. So, you can see our, you know, our distance too is really far away. And I'm just going to lock this in right here. As we get closer, eventually this is going to change from a orbit to a the surface. So, and that's not going to happen for a while, and I will let you know when that does happen. As you can see, we're, I want to start my burn at around tw like 27, 28 thousand feet because that right there is like I've done a landing a couple times and that is the optimal to where I'm not gonna smash in the moon but at the same time I'm not gonna be slowing down and constantly speeding up at least I believe so I the last episode I recorded was a few days ago it was like a day or so ago so um We'll see what happens. You know, I've been messing around with a lot of other stuff, and I saw a few different videos today, and I'm going to try to maybe either replicate them or show them, uh, you know, what it is and how it is you can do something like that. Um, I'm not too big in space planes, guys. That's one thing I will say. I'm, I, I don't really care so much for aircraft in this game. It's, it's not my most favorite area of expertise but I mean I I'm a, I like a lot of different sims and I have like flight simulator and all those kinds of games and I much prefer doing flight sims and something like that so I'm gonna slow down a little bit and as you can see we are 12,000 off and this has just changed to surface so we are just descending very I mean to me this is kind of fast and if you notice that when this changes too that also how we lined up it changed a little bit so a really good tip is not to do your burn too high but you want you do not want to do your burn too too low the reason being is that you do not want to burn lots of fuel trying to land when all you're going to be doing is stopping and going and stopping and going and you're basically going to burn a large amount of fuel just trying to land your craft, which makes no sense at all. You would rather do one straight burn all the way down, and that's it. And once you get low enough, you know, it, you just want to get down to the point where you're really low, and you don't have to worry about, you know, whatever else is going to happen to you. You know, like right now I'm going really slow and that kind of was a mistake on my end I should have been watching that better but you can see I'm not too far away from moon base and a lot of my other things that I've landed I think I have to delete no no I don't have to delete that um, so as you get closer right now we are about 2,000 meter, uh, meters off the surface and you might ask why and that's because the ground level is different on the moon it changes everywhere you go so I'm still doing my burn and I'm getting closer and closer and I would rather do a free fall towards the moon and then do my you know do this kind of a burn at the very end but like I said this is somewhat of an untested craft and it's been a few days so I don't want to crash in Bacha Landing for you guys all to watch and snicker and laugh about and be like, yeah, some tutorial, huh? So you want to descend very slowly once you get really close. I'm not going to say that the whole surface is 200 meters off. Everywhere you go is going to be a little bit different, but, you know, it just really depends on where you're at. So don't you know go and land on the moon and then be like goose you told me that the the surface is 2000 meters no matter where you're at blah 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 i did not say that and i don't claim to know anything about the moon besides the fact that i have a moon base alpha now uh now you can see we are getting very close we are about 200 meters off the surface and right now is not a good time to do any uh, crazy adjustments you know, you want to 
keep it keep that retrograde directly smack dab in the center and you just kind of want to keep descending very very slowly and the optimal that you want to touch the surface is about you know one meter a second two meters a second i mean as long as you're not going um 10 meters a second you're pretty much fine and as you can see we are in tranquility base here the explorer has landed yeah i had to say that i know it's freaking corny so give me a break um now let's see our distance we are 11.9 kilometers away from moon base alpha uh, not my best landing, but, you know, it will do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Um, now, what I have to tell you guys, let, let's let's go on a little EVA. Let's see who. I like Ladford the best, so you are going on an EVA. You know, the ladder doesn't touch all the way down, but it's high enough to where you can jump and reach it. Whatever. Um, don't fall and crack your face plate open. Stupid. Okay, good. Um, now, I have a question for you guys. We have landed on the moon successfully. And I feel I've tried to explain it the best way I can. A lot of it is trial and error. So a lot of things are just trial and error in this game. And you really got to do it in order to understand it. And yes, that's what she said. Um, so... Now, I could go and refuel this thing. Well, I'm going to go, you know, I'm, I'm talking more about the Orbiter 1. The other Orbiter 1, the good one with the nice crew. I could refuel, I could take off, get into orbit, and meet up with Moon Lab, refuel, and then we could take another voyage out to this lonely Minmus. Or... I could get back in, you know, I could go with the original la um, lander, take off, and go back to Kerbin. And just, you know, uh, it would be basically the end of the tutorial section, and I probably wouldn't really do anything as far as, you know, anything else with this tutorial section. Now, taking off from the moon, yes, it's going to be different, because you guys have never took off from the moon before, and... I haven't really took off from the moon to do anything else, so it's really up to you guys. You know, this is pretty close to the we're. I think we're pretty close to that moon arch too. Again, um, yeah, it's right over there. Actually, you can see it a lot better from this view. I should have set up moon base elf over here. We could have had like prime viewing of the moon arch. So. Anyways, guys, um, this one is going to be up to you guys, and leave comments. If you want me to take off and go to Minmus, we can do it. I don't know as far as, you know, getting back, because the amount of fuel I have on the other lander is probably roughly about the same. Oh, I can't see it from here. So, jump! Grab! I really love when these guys fall off the spacecraft and they just face plant right on the ground. It's just like the funniest thing. Um, yeah, so, I mean, whatever fuel we have in the other one, it's, you know, it's up to you guys. So I'm sorry for talking so long at the end, but I just want to, you know, gauge what you guys want. Leave, let me know in the comments. If you want me to take off and go to Minmus, we will do that. Um... There's really nothing else I can do with the spacecraft. I mean, I could just leave it here. It's kind of like a landmark, but yeah. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This may or may not be the final episode. So, thank you for watching my tutorials. And um, if you like them, subscribe. You know, whatever else. Uh, there's always new videos to come in in other sections. I don't really do too much as far as you know, showing landings and taking off and everything else. And I, I try to cut out a lot of the boring stuff. Because to me, landing is kind of like a boring thing to watch. So, I'm running on again, like I always do. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.